九十六 ，Data Daily News， 莫库林 for military recruiters to be armed。二零一五年七月十八日 ，Lawrence Pott， Lynn Housey and Ken McCall source。Data Daily News， Ohio， July 十八。The fatal attack on t o t e n n e s s e e military facilities has raised fears that terrorist attacks on so-called soft targets will continue, and has some calling for arming military personnel at recruiting centers. They should have a sidearm there available to defend themselves, said local security expert Timothy Shaw, a retired FBI agent and former Marine Corps recruiter. Often these centers are in very public locations. Like the Chattanooga Strip Mall, where Mohammed Al Saif Abdulaziz Yusupzai on Thursday opened fire on a Marine recruitment office before driving to a Navy Marine training center and shooting four Marines to death. Pulis killed Abdulaziz in a gunfight. Military recruiting centers in Ohio need to put more security measures in place, said Clark County Commissioner Rick Loans. He retired in 1908 as the commander of the Springfield Air National Guard base. Until that happens, recruiters who are well trained in using firearms should carry weapons, he said. I don't care what the local rules are; they are sitting ducks, Loans said. I damn every one of them. Robert Cornwell, executive director of the Buckeye State Sheriffs Association. Said military recruiting stations should not be soft targets; they should be hard targets. Cornwell said, "It seems to be clear that the military and law enforcement personnel have been declared targets. Recruiters, he said, should be armed, and the stations should at least have surveillance cameras, like those around sheriffs' offices and county jails." At the U.S. Army recruiting office in Lebanon. Marine veteran Charles Jehut said he supports Saming soldiers living as civilians after returning from active duty. These men have deep backgrounds in how to operate in dangerous situations, Jehut said. Changing law, state sen Joker R Miami T W P has been working on a bill for the past few years that would allow any active duty military member in uniform on board. To carry a concealed weapon in Ohio, Luca expects to introduce the bill next week. That the proposal would require military personnel to carry documentation to serve as a concealed carry permit, and would apply even if they were under the age limit of years up yet in the state's concealed carry law. This is something that should be allowed nationally, Luca said. If you've got a uniform on, you've now become a target. They should be allowed to carry a firearm. The Associated Press reported that Gen. Ray Odierno, chief of staff for the Army, said that security at military recruiting and reserve centers would be reviewed, but that it was too early to say whether the facilities should have security guards or other increased protection. He told reporters that arming troops in those offices could cause more problems than it might solve. His comments came as Navy officials confirmed a separate incident Friday outside Atlanta, where a recruiter accidentally shot himself in the leg with his personal M16 caliber pistol while discussing the Tennessee shootings with one of his recruits. Officials said he showed a sailor the unloaded gun, then reloaded it and inadvertently discharged it as he was putting it back in his holster. Recruiters are trained in anti-terrorism measures and work closely with law enforcement," said SGT First Class Christopher Porter, who works at the U.S. Army recruiting station in Middletown. That way, we have our eyes and ears open. Try to stay vigilant as far as when we notice anything out of the ordinary," Porter said. "That's really all we can do." He said there was nothing out of the ordinary as far as new security in the wake of Thursday's shooting. As the face of the military, recruiters must remain open and welcoming. He said we can't really withdraw much. Poor said we put on the uniform and we accept a little bit of extra risk. Threat level low. The Ohio National Guard has not increased security measures in response to the Tennessee incident, according to Maj. Nico Ashcroft, public affairs officer, while many installations are fenced and have security guards, 
at the facility so are not guarded and those serving there receive additional training from security forces, Ashcroft said. Although there are no increases to security measures at this time, we remained vigilant, and we are responding appropriately to secure the safety of our military members and Ohioans, Ashcroft said. The guard's current threat level is Alpha, the second lowest of five levels. It denotes possible threat of terrorist activity. We are asking that they remain vigilant, that they follow the increased security measures that we have, Ashcroft said, and we are providing them guidance and additional information as is needed to secure their safety. Ashcroft called the Chattanooga shootings a very tragic incident. My prayers and heartfelt condolences go out to the families and the friends of our fallen brothers in arms and everyone who was involved in this tragic incident, she said. Retired Montgomery County Sheriff and former security consultant David Foss said there are limits to what law enforcement can do to prevent attacks. It is impossible to place a cop at every church, every school, recruiting office and every government building. I don't think there is an easy answer or easy solution, there is, no stopping people who are hell-bent on fulfilling some sick thought that they have that leads them to kill innocent people, said for, now Clay Township trustee, but, said for, well-trained and armed citizens are a great neutralizer, since the church shooting, in South Carolina, I've talked to several folks from various churches who say they carry guns to church now. Vo said, Shaw said it takes more than a concealed carry class to properly prepare someone for the responsibility of carrying a gun. I don't think having an armed citizenry is where we go, said Shaw, who is senior vice president and director of operations at the Advanced Technical Intelligence Center in Beaver Creek. It's not something you take lightly. Lone Wolf fears Abdulaziz's motives are not known. But as authorities investigate his alleged online comments regarding Islam and jihad and a trip he took to Jordan, it raises fears that this will turn out to be another lone wolf attack by a sympathizer of the terror group ISIS. I think this shows sort of the evil reliance of terrorism, which is to show that the state can't protect its people, even its soldiers, said Donna Sklagic. Wright State University Professor Emerita who is the past chairperson of the Political Science Department, she said terrorists are phenomenally focused on staying ahead and finding new vulnerabilities, be it a marathon race, a church, or a recruiting center, and very often the clues lie online in the world of social media where the lone wolf finds his co-conspirators giving him leadership, inspiration and comrades in arms. We need cyber agents finding these sites, she said. Glenn Du, assistant professor of international studies at Cedarville University, said there needs to be close coordination at all levels of government and across borders, sharing information about possible terrorists, and he said soft targets should have a regular police presence so they can be a deterrent and also react if an attack occurs. Who said winning the battle against domestic terrorism will take patience, just as it did in Northern Ireland and Spain, and it has to be done while protecting civil liberties. I don't think a police state is necessary, Do said. Shaw said the Lord is being done by law enforcement to prevent attacks, but even with vigilance there will always be a danger. This is something where I don't know what we could have done to stop this short of spying and watching everyone. Shaw said, we are not going to do that as a country, we don't believe in that, staff writers John Biddell, Michael Pittman and Michael Cooper and the Associated Press contributed to this report, copyright, C. Yi Tin Ling Yesapm The Data and Daily News, Drayton, Ohio, visit The Data and Daily News, Drayton, Ohio at www.daytondaylanews come distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.